So till date, we've done about, I don't know, eight to 10 installs and previews for this particular device. That is the Zenfone Pro M1. This is probably the last one unless a new ROM comes in. Now remember guys, when I do installs and previews, these are potential ROMs that I would like to use or maybe you can use because they are actively in development. There are like at least five or seven other ROMs which were, you know, some point ported to this device, but they didn't make it to my videos. Reason being, they've not had an update for like a month or two and it doesn't make any sense using a ROM which doesn't have an update. Right. So today's video is going to be dot OS, which is based on Android 8.1. It looks to be very, very stable and full of features. So we're going to install it. We'll have a quick first look at it and your comments will let me decide should I review it or not. But before we do all that, if you've not already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon because we do awesome stuff with smartphones. At the same time, guys, here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos 390. Go ahead and check that channel out as well. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash. Let's get flashing. Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Zenfone Pro M1 and all these days you've been seeing a lot of action when it comes to the Zenfone Pro M1. We are coming towards the end of the series of you know, installs and previews because then we are going to start with partial and full reviews so that you guys can decide which ROM is the best and you want to use it or not. But today, well, we are going to look at Dot .OS, which is based on Android 8.1 Oreo. Yes, of course, it is a custom ROM. Yes, it has a ton of features and it is official for this device. So yes, it will be getting a lot of updates as well. So first things first, we need to take care of the usual disclaimer stuff. You need to have TWRP, of course, which of course needs an unlocked bootloader. If you don't know how to do that, well, here's a card to that particular video. Go ahead and check it out and at the same time you need to make sure you back up all your data from your internal storage and you have more than 50 percent battery now while you've taken care of all of that we will be going ahead and wiping the internal storage so make sure you copy the rom and g apps to the external sd card so with that out of the way let's go to wipe advanced wipe delvic cache system vendor data and internal storage once all of those are selected let's go ahead and swipe to wipe All right, now considering that the wipe is done, let's go to install up a level, external SD. Let's look for dot OS. There we have it. This is 14th of September and add more zips. And then let's look for open G apps based on 8.1 and swipe to confirm flash. Now, as always with my install and preview videos, well, guys, these videos are there for you guys to decide from the first look of the ROM, from the two or three minutes that I spend in this particular video at any particular ROM, if I come across any major bug, like I did with AeroOS, Voice over LTE and camera were not working, I would not recommend you guys to go ahead and waste your time and try that ROM until it is stable. That is the whole idea behind installs and previews. That is the whole idea why we at Smartphone Tutorials do all this hard work for you guys. But for now, what I would suggest is wait for the flash to complete, then we will look at the boot animation and we will also have a look at the ROM. All right, so now as you can see on the screen, the ROM has been flashed, G apps have been flashed. So reboot, system and do not install. Let's see how the boot animation is. The first boot will take, of course, five to seven minutes. So please be very, very patient while that happens. And once the ROM is booted up, we will go ahead and have a quick look at it. All right, that's the new boot animation for Dot OS, and it looks very, very nice to me. I would not say one of my favorites, but yeah, boot animations like those make you realize that you're on custom ROMs and it's really, really nice. Let's wait for the ROM to boot up and then we shall have a look at the features of this particular ROM. All right, so looks like we are on the home screen of Droid on Time. That's what they have mentioned on the screen. That's just a wallpaper. So what do we have here? We have a quite wacky look compared to other ROMs over here. If you look, the icon theme is completely different. Settings icon looks different over here. The camera app, although it is a Google camera app and I'm pretty sure it would be working. There you have it. So if we move on to the front camera, it is working just fine. So yeah, let's quickly, okay, this is Android Pie inspired, although this is a ROM which is based on Android 8.1. You have voice over LTE that is working. So if we go to settings and let's see, we have dot UI center. And I would say this is one of the most aesthetically pleasing ROMs that I've seen in a while on this particular device. It is asking me if I want to apply the dark theme. Well, why not? quick settings panel, overlay color and stuff like that. So a lot of things are already available there. Make your Android more colorful so you can make those changes. Control the interface, customize quick settings panel. 
it's a very very well layout interface when it comes to customization and i think all the other custom rom manufacturers should do something like this i'm not saying they should copy you know dot os what they have done but from the first look i'm very very impressed is what i would say apart from that the settings menu is also designed just like android pi although this is android 8.1 now you also have ota system updates that is enabled in this particular rom and as i said the rom is very very well layout and well polished is what it looks like and that is something mighty impressive so i might use this as my daily driver as one of the first roms but before we do that actually let's quickly have a look if we have any other surprises we have gestures and all the usual stuff of course this is 8.1 so it would have an august or september security patch apart from that any other changes okay we have dot extras there you have it that is how you lay down the customization menu guys colorful brilliant now that might not be your choice but at least i like it that way so in dot extras your status bar navigation bar quick settings recents lock screen system so what i would like to say before i wrap up this video for dot os is that i you know it looks like a very very promising rom and it is very very smooth so if you want to use it as your daily driver hell yes you can definitely definitely go ahead and do that i will be doing that and i will be definitely making a full review on this particular rom but from now you know from the first looks of it the features the colorfulness it looks just awesome so wait until the full review for this particular rom is out and until then this is kalash signing off at smartphone tutorials keep smiling take care see you in the next one goodbye see you.